Hello guys, Keep Right on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes, and if you aren't already, make sure to drop a sub. Now in today's video, it's going to be the Swansea City versus Birmingham City match preview. Let's get straight into it. Let's start off with the opposition team, as always. Swansea City currently sit 12th in the Championship. Um, they've won 2, lost 2, and drawn 1 out of the last 5 games. And um, their top goal scorer, of course, is... Yao Piero with 10 goals, as always. He's all, he always seems to be the player that scores goals for them. Of course, they lost Michael Obifemi. Um, he went to Burnley for about £4.5 million pounds and haven't really replaced him. So, you know, that could boost our chances of getting a result at the weekend. Who knows? They've also got Oliver Cooper on six goals. I believe he's a fan favourite at Swansea. The fans like him um, there, I believe, anyway. Um, so, yeah... Um, Getting on to Blues, of course, I'm looking at the table, we're sitting 19th place, we lost um, we lost to Blackburn, of course, 1-0 um, on Tuesday, I went to that game. Now, our last five games in the league, not counting the FA Cup, we've lost the last five league games, we've got the worst form, worst run of form in the Championship, and if we lose to Swansea, I can't see us getting anything, getting anything sorry, against West Brom, I know it's a derby in that, but... We could be looking at six or seven league defeats in a row. We can only drop down to 20th because of the goal difference. But if Cardiff win and we lose by like three goals, then obviously we could drop down to 21st at the weekend. Getting onto the lineup, I would um, bring back Ruddy into the team. I would have Nico Gordon. Nico Gordon has got to start. I said it. I said it in my match preview for the Blackburn game on Monday. He's got to start. Long is just not good enough. See that shot he had? He was like right in front of the goal and just put hardly any power into it. Like he should be scoring it. I know he's a centre back, but yeah. So Nico Gordon, Sanderson, trustee as a back three. Longello, our signing now, by the way, um, left wing back. Colin, right wing back. I know I want to play a four forward. I want more, a four at the back anyway, but Eustace is not going to do that, is he? So yeah, back five, like I could have said. And then the three in the middle, Bielik, I think. Hopefully nothing's gone um, wrong with him. Hopefully he is fit and available for the game at the weekend because he wasn't on the bench against Blackburn. Hopefully that was just um, you know just the fact that uh, John Eustace was saving him for the weekend. So Bielik, um I would start. I would actually start uh, Bielik, Chong, and um, Gary Gardner. I thought Gary, you know Gary Gardner. I think. Yeah, just throw him in this game. Um, Chang, people are on going on about Chang, you know, how why he deserves to start the, uh, the game against Swansea, but I don't know, I, I'm not I'm not a massive fan of him, to be fair. Um, so yeah, Chong, I should have done it in this order, really, shouldn't I? Chong, Beely, Gardner, midfield three. And then the two up top, Hogan and Kadra. Kadra, look what he did the game against Blackburn, causing them so many problems. And I do think having a player like Kadri in your team, he can score goals as well. He's already got, he's already got two, I believe. He's, yeah, he scored against yeah, he scored against Blackburn, didn't he? In the um the first game we played against them in the FA Cup. So yeah, Kadri and Hogan up top. Even though Hogan, since coming back from an injury, has just I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know what's going on with him. Seriously, I've got him on the back of this shirt as well. He needs to start scoring goals again. So dropping him wouldn't really do too much because Jukovic, can he play a full 90 minutes? I think Jukovic is now, because of his age, he's more of a bench player, isn't he, really? So yeah, um, I, don't want to see, I don't want to see Troy Deeney even on the bench, by the way, in this game. So we cannot afford to lose this game. We can't even afford to draw, basically. Well, a draw won't be the end of the world, but we are sinking, sinking faster than the Titanic. And we have to get some, we have to get some points on the board. It's as simple as that. We are only five, five or six points off the bottom three, but Huddersfield, if they win, then it, it goes, it goes down to three. We're in another relegation battle. It might not seem like it now, but there's no point deductions to save us like last season. Last season we was comfortably safe because Derby and Reading had all these point deductions. But yeah, my predictions for this game is going to be Swansea two, Birmingham City nil. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say we're going to be heading for a sixth straight defeat. Six in a row. When's the last time? Leave it in the comments down below. When's the last time we, we lost six league games in a row? Does anyone know that? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It's been Keywords on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let me know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, keep right on.